Ah, good stuff. Oh, hello, folks. Brian, you won the only hobo, Tom. And you are joining me tonight. And I have to make a new graphic for this eventually. But this is my Red Wine and Pizza Smackdown show. Eventually, probably in about a month, I'll be live streaming this. It'll be a little bit better that way. Because so I'll be back to live streaming. It's my day in the hobo jail. will be done and over with. Tonight, Red Wine is brought to you by Lindemans. Ooh, a Merlot. That's good. I just like to do that. I wish they would pay me. That would be good. I could skip a whole bunch of stuff then. And not feel freaking dead butt rank tired. But I'm not here to talk about my issues. Because I actually got a lot of stuff done. Even though I had to wait an hour and a half for a freaking oil change for, for my truck. But I got all the booze for Christmas. My Christmas shopping, 95% done. And then I start getting stuff for Christmas celebration. Whoa. Christmas will soon be upon us, folks. Then you can get shirts like this, my Gargano e Ciampa DIY shirt, at www.shop.com. Again, I wish they were paying me to say that. But And then I ordered my nephews probably by now Christmas gift from Impact Shop and that's going to be oh, baby, baby. thumbs up thumbs down but enough of that I don't get paid to say any of this I don't even get paid to drink I wish I got paid to drink ooh get paid to drink wine that'd be pretty cool But now I'm here to talk about some pro wrestling. Give you this hobo's version. And one day I will have a girlfriend somewhere. I've had one every so often on the show. <laughs> I've had one every so often on the show. Now let's get right down to SmackDown. The Miz opens up SmackDown with woo, Ric Flair and brother Hulk Hogan. That was pretty cool. So um, it's announced the finals for the teams. You have Hogan, has Shorty G, Ali, Roman Reigns, Rusev, and Ricochet. Team Flair has Orton, Lashley, Drew, Baron Corbin, and Shinsuke Nakamura. I'll give the Saudi credit. They're getting their money's worth. They got Flair and Hogan to come out. And a big chunk of the main... Really a high-ranking roster, people. It's pretty cool. And of course, whenever you get this many people in a ring, you know it ends no matter what happens. Even though it's a really fun segment, it always ends in a brawl. And this gets us to our first, first wrestling match. And the thing I'll say this week about SmackDown, I think last week the wrestling was good. Everything else... Yeah. This week was the opposite. The wrestling was meh. Everything else was really good. Again, the Miz, you put the Miz, Ric Flair, and Hulk Hogan in the same ring. That's just gold. Um, but the wrestling match, um, the night, first one of the night was New Day versus Bobby Roode and Dolph Ziggler. Again, they're going to be in the, the turmoil tag team match at Saudi Arabia, which I'm not covering because it's Halloween. I have to work two jobs that day. Oh, wow. I really do have to work two jobs. That's... Whoa. No wrestling for me. I'll probably catch highlights of it. Maybe I'll do a highlight video or something Friday or Saturday. Hey, I don't make my own video. For the Havoc of Halloween, we can post that either Wednesday night or Thursday. Morning. And I just have a bunch of stuff to do this week. That's not good. Maybe I'll make it Sunday just post. I'll be lazy. 
I'll be honestly lazy for a change. But wait a second, I digress. Uh, so we have New Day versus Rude and Ziggler. It was a fun enough match. Dolph starts off. He just starts eating bellies to bellies from Big E. That would be like three or four of them. Uh, and then Big E launched Kofi. <laughs> and then eventually Kofi eats that spine buster. Robert Root is such a sweet spine buster. Then it's a little bit of back and forth, but this was really quick. I don't know if it was a botch finish, but there was a roll up. Kofi Kingston lost. I don't know if you forgot a kick out or not. It was a roll up victory. This was a ham sandwich of a match. Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode won. Then to fill in the time, they just had all the heels show up. They had the other, um, they had the re revival show up. And they started to beat them up. Of course, once the revival shows up, then Heavy Machinery shows up. Oh, this is that head, but oh, it's, it's such a leisurely jog to, to the ring. That was funny. That headbutt, ooh, I don't know. That's up there with the Samoan headbutt and the Scottish headbutt. That looked nasty. Uh, then there was a little um, Braun and Tyson Fury recap, which was good. Uh, then Lacey Evans versus Cameron Connors. Um, she's like, Lacey's like, I don't need this nonsense. Just, I'm, I'm going home. I'm going to go home to have my glass of red wine. <clears throat> But instead of what happens, at the kind of seven she runs on the ring, hits poor Cameron Connors with the woman's right. Really, Lacey Evans is this much of a monster? WWE. Thumbs down. This was a piece of toast. Then there was a little Nikki Cross interview. <laughs> Nikki Cross is so hyper. She's so fun. She's like that squirrel who ate coffee grounds. She's amazing. And then we have Seth Rollins and the Firefly Funhouse Burning recap. Okay. We'll see what happens for Crown Jewel. Maybe. No, I won't be able to see that. Shoot. Because I work. And they go to work. Again, maybe I'll catch the recaps of it. Then there's a new Firefly Funhouse. They rebuilt the set. And Ramblin' Rabbit, who is held in the heel hand, comes back to life. The resurrection of Ramblin' Rabbit, baby! Now, of course he was in the heel hand, but then he gets quickly eaten by Mercy the Buzzard. Because all the puppets had to say something good. <laughs> about Rambling Rabbit. Um, Sister Abigail says he talks too much. Uh, Huskos the Pig says he introduced him to Carrot Cake. And Mercy the Buzzard said that he tasted good. Oh, again, being held in the heel hand helped. Because <laughs> Rambling Rabbit has. It has nine lives. You can't see, but my, my little kitty cat down there is taking her nap. She's she's long, too. She got two outside times. And she got a lot of time to nap with me, some playtime with me, fresh food, and a whole bunch of pets and belly rubs. And she has some sunny time. So that's always good. Then the next match, it was Drew Gulak versus Kalisto. Which could have been really good. Uh, Drew Gulak went back to his PowerPoint presentation. This time he was going to do the 345 slides on how Braun Strowman could lose. First one is Braun Strowman getting punched in the face. Makes sense. Uh, then Kalisto punches him in the face. This match actually would have been pretty good because, again, you have you do have the classic clash of styles. Styles make fights. 
And uh, Gulak, he went for the torture rack really soon. Braun shows up. Gulak suffers under distracted wrestler syndrome. Kalisto Selena Del Sol's him. Poor Drew Gulak loses and gets power slammed not once, but because the crowd wanted it one more time. One more time. Yeah, power slammed the second time. Poor Drew Gulak. This was after Kalisto picked up the legitimate victory. Kalisto wins. Does nothing for really each. Oh, this is a hint. This is a this is a can of soup match. And Michael Cole interviews Daniel O'Brien in the ring. I'm asking what what his thoughts are. If, if the yes movement, yes, 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 is still alive, then he's interrupted by Sami Zayn and Shinsuke Nakamura. And he doesn't give an answer. He just walks away. Indeed. And the next match was Mandy Rose, who kind of got the jobber's entrance, taking on Nikki Cross. And now we see Mandy the striker. Whoa. And so you know, Ville's there. Um, Nikki Cross doesn't get in a lot of offense. She, she gets in her flying cross body. And the best thing that could have happened is that her vest got zipped down a little bit. And then we can see some of that sparkle green, sparkle forest green snakeskin lace, lace work sports bra. We saw Nikki Cross's sports bra. That's the highlight of this match, folks. Um, Sasha Banks and Bailey were at ringside. Yeah, they didn't add much to it. Bailey has like new eyeshadow. She has that, I guess, the Egyptian look going, where it's, like, painted all around the eye and, like, in a little bit this area. I don't know. Any women out there who are watching this, you can feel free to comment that you have no idea what you're talking about, Hobo Tom. You need a girlfriend to educate you in the ways of putting on makeup. Because I don't put on any makeup. Like, guys do that. Or most guys don't do that. Some guys do wear nail polish. Some guys do wear toe, toe polish. I go, all natural, baby. What you see is what you get. But yeah, this was a fun match. Nikki Cross started to roll up. Mandy Rose, I guess she eventually hit her twisted neck, her twisted neck breaker. It was always good to see. Uh, picks up the win. Nikki Cross wins. Cross needs more strobe, though. Again, that was just fun to see Nikki Cross in her bra. Nikki Cross should show more skin. Um, The matches were getting better, I guess, because this was a ham sandwich of a match. And then there's a show of the WWE floats in Saudi Arabia. Uh, Kane Velasquez is backstage uh, because uh, or Kane Velasquez and Rey Mysterio give an interview. Brock's backstage. He destroys poor Dominic. He gets beat up again. Um, eventually, they, they come back and he's Dominic's in the trainer's office. They just look like they put up some cubicle walls. And as he's getting attended to, Brock comes in. It throws a garbage can at everyone. That was funny. Uh, Ray Mysterio jumps on Brock Lesnar. He F5s he him into said cubicle wall. F5s Kane Velasquez on to Dominic. Kane Velasquez is obviously upset. Says stuff in Spanish and English. I didn't catch most of it, but it was good stuff, though. And then in the main event of the evening, we have Cesaro, Shinsuke Nakamura, and King Corbin taking on Shorty G, Ali, and Roman Reigns. My question to you, the YouTube audience, isn't that Shorty G shirt 
looked like just a recolored bona fide G shirt. They never use that because the font seems really the same. I don't know, it just might be me. Of course, whenever you get six people in the ring, there's always a brawl to start off everything. Um, it, was, it was kind of a fun match. Uh, for the most part, the faces really control the match, which makes sense. I don't know what's going to happen at Crown Jewel. It's such a wild card, especially knowing that Monday Night Raw is coming up still. Uh, Sammy does act as a distraction. Ali, he's he's there just to get beat up. They give Shorty D, G, Chad Gable, kind of the hot tag. Let him get in a lot of offense, too. He They're good with that. He gets in his licks against Cesaro for a little bit. King Corbin and Shinsuke. Cesaro eventually does catch him. Um, also, Roman Reigns gets the hot tag. Roman Reigns gets caught by Cesaro. Cesaro is strong as anything, man. He's awesome. Uh, Shorty G. Yeah, Roman Reigns actually does the unselfish thing. Roman. Yeah, something. Yeah, but for the most part, Roman does the un unselfish thing. He tags in Ali. He does the splash. Ali picks up the win. The good guys win. And I'll tell you what, this was another... This was a fun match. The brawl was fun. The part of the match was fun. This is a good cheeseburger match. It was just one of those... That was, wow, SmackDown? Over. I'm not even finished my glass of wine. I will now, though. Overall, SmackDown, it was a ham sandwich of a show. I think I could put something comparably together for the Daytona Beach Bump Fight League Wrestling. And that was SmackDown. Wow. Underwhelming. I miss Impact already. Um, well, I have to go to work tomorrow, and I have to go hobo tonight. Need, I think, six more cans to get my 100 pieces of aluminum for the week, which will be good. Terrible, but good. So I'll say good night, everyone. And I promise next time I'll try and make some graphics. And hopefully next week I get to watch some Impact Wrestling. I miss me some Impact Wrestling. Even though this is like a show where it's like, meh. It is still Impact Wrestling, though. Bye, folks. Oh, I guess the only other thing. <laughs> I guess the women got a little, a little highlighted in the show. Maybe she did had to swallow to, to get oh, rumors. It's read by, Sony, by Boo! Sonya Deville. Boo! Boo, Sonya. You need, you're need. you the one who needs to go back to NXT. Well, you and Lacey Evans. Bye.